I think we've noticed, haven't we, year on year, that the the importance of this this event is grown, and it's becoming something of uh, of one of those tournaments to to tick off for, for all darts fans to come to. Greece, Thailand, opening match of the World Cup 2017. Rod Harrington, Rod Studd in commentary. Thanks, Dave. Good evening. Looking forward to this, actually. First night of four. Double sessions on uh, Saturday and Sunday. And, uh, yeah, Thailand. Tanawat and Atapal. Uh, in action again, as they were last year, indeed, against the Greek pair. And uh, they were both here last year as well. John Michael, a familiar face on our screens, having played in the World Championship three times also. And we well, got past the prelim rounds, but knocked out in the first round at Alexandra Palace. But it's taken some decent players to knock him out. Ian White, James Wade and Chuck Norris. He can play a bit, John Michael, and, and really, off the back of Michael's ability, it's why Greece are, are the favourites, John, uh, Rock on this match. Yes, I'm actually right there, Rod. But over these pairs competition, it really is something different. When we get down to those singles, that's where the, the better teams and the better players come into their own. But this pairs match, it is about gelling. If you're gelling with your opponent, you're trying to make your opponent spur him on, you're representing your country. So this is where, this first round, we're going to see a few upsets. Yeah, John Michael, without question, the best player in Greece. He's won the national championship 14 times. Big John. And as I mentioned, those runs in the world championship. He's also had a decent run in the, uh, the UK. Where uh, Alan Tabern knocked him out, last 32. So... Michael, a very decent operator. Well, we say it so often in all matches, get out of the gate quick. Even more emphasises in these pairs matches. Back in the 90s, when we were travelling the world, the pairs used to go hand in hand with any singles that used to play wherever it was in the world. However, now the players do not play doubles matches. Well, it's going to be a little bit alien. I think the bigger players may have a problem with it more than these sort of players. These players probably play with it all the time. The big players like your Van Gerwens and your Andersons and your Wrights, they don't do it very often. So it's going to be interesting. Well, Michael Van Gerwen indeed suggesting that the whole event should be doubles. Be pairs rather than as it progresses in a Davis Cup style tournament of... Uh, Singles and doubles rubbers. Yeah, I kind of half agree with him. You know, it starts off as pairs and uh, perhaps should stay the same. However, we want to see the best players really on the top of their form. It's the singles that brings that out of them. Well, then, Atapol. Leaves 90, so there's choices here. A pretty sensible one. Looking for the treble 18, but they'll be back for that 72. Should get at least one dart at a double. Tanawat. Well, now Thailand are in a good Thailand position. Did throw first in this first leg. And that leaves him 67, so treble 17. Oh, that leaves him double eight. This first thing. Oh no, I'm miscounted. Double six, double three. three. What am I talking about, Rodney? Well, it may become academic because John Michael is looking at tops here. Oh, not so very far away. Thailand, you require three. Well, this is just about the worst scenario. The single is there. Will the double be there? It will be there. And Thailand have the first leg of the 2017 World Cup of Darts. Yeah, it's not the easiest double to finish on. But he cleaned it up quite well. And this is where John Michael has got to kick off good. And that's not the best of starts. So Tanawat, nice little 100, put the pressure on. 58. This uh, is Stella Koglu, who's German-born and actually lives in Berlin. 
So nearer to home than most for this tournament. 81. Some real fun and games with the German pairs over the years. No Jan Hart up though. No, that's surprising. 41. The German crowd will always get behind their players and that does upset their opponents. That's when they've got to stay focused. And the Iron Hart, I mean, he used to really get the locals going, didn't he? He really used to feed and off he their emotions the and uh, got them really noisy. And that's what you've got to do. That's going to put your opponents off. Yeah, for the first time in the World Cup, no Yehan Art up for Germany, no Phil Taylor for England. 16. No, and uh, with the English winning it last year, a few people probably thought that uh, it would stay the same team, but the rules are on the rankings on the 21st of May, and uh, Dave Chisholm just picked actually James Wade at the last knockings to join Adrian Lewis to try and retain their title. Well, that third dart from John Michael, which drifted into the single five, has put his side 100 in front, but that could be eradicated if Tanawak can find the treble 20, and he can, you know. 100. So, level at 196. Yeah, and you've got nine darts from here, perhaps, and uh, you really want Six. John Michael to have those darts at the double under pressure. He's the one that's probably going to hold it together a little bit more. Oh, what? One. Oh. Now one John Michael, 36. if he can't take it out, he's got to set it up. He's got to hit the ton. Oh, and another drift into the fives. Well, now that does cause problems for Greece. 66. Thailand they salvaged something with that last start. Will it be enough? Treble would have left double 12 there. Forty. We should require 70. Oh, treble 10, treble 18. Treble 10 was the target. Now the target is tops. 30. Yeah, the flight Thailand covered most of that. He had to over pitch and it didn't make it. Now, sometimes, having that first dart, well, he's going to be two darts now. Double 16 for a break. 14. Yeah, missing a big Greece number. Require 14. Crucial error. Well, if John Michael was playing on a tour event, you'd expect him to hit this, but it's not a tour event, and it's not a singles James event, but he has hit double 10. And the Greeks level up the match. Game on. John Michael bustles his way around the hockey. One out well, Michael's world ranking is 67, but it's all a little 60. bit misleading, Rod, isn't it? Because they don't play week in, week out on the tour. They don't play all the tour events. They don't qualify for enough televised events to get the ranking hiked up. What? He's probably better than that. Yes, you're exactly right. Um, you know, to come over from Greece and play all the tour, it costs an awful lot of money. Although there's, as we just wait for the first one. Oh, 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 although there's a lot of money out there in prize money, you know, over 11 million on the on the total tour, it isn't easy just to pick up a few quid. So your expenses have got to be covered first. So that's why he can't travel too much. Oh, but yes, you're right, Rodders. I think he's a lot better than the 66 ranking. That he is at the moment. Oh, good leg, this because Thailand have left a finish after nine darts, albeit a biggie. Thailand require 161. For Atapol, his nickname is Poppy, he can't pop that one in. 45. Well, he's still battling to be first to a double from here. You know, sometimes the captain of the team, you know, he puts too much pressure on himself. He feels he's got to carry his partner instead of just going up and playing his own game, which I said I think the big players will just go up there and just hit whatever they can, and that will be good enough. But in these sort of teams... 45. An outside chance now for Greece, but he's got to hit minimum of a tonne. 
Ty Lem will only possibly have one dart of the double. Well, that's a good lie for Michael. 85. He keeps drifting at the fives a lot, Ty doesn't he? Yeah, he does. 71. 18 leaves tops now. Tops then, he's hit double one. And now he's hit double top. Well, he's hit both doubles now. He hit the double one cleanly. Now he's hit the double top. So you would think leave all the doubles to him. And turn away, do all the scoring. Yeah, both players from Bangkok. Yeah, lovely adjustment. Really good from Tanawa. That's the second leg on the trot that he's kicked off with a 140. That would be a great time to break. Well, they've got control. Now, in this sort of stage of the game, don't miss big 20s. If you're not going to hit a treble, which he has done, just don't miss the big 20s. And that's a good follow up to that 140. Both teams, both countries trying to get into uncharted waters of the second round. Canada knocked uh, Greece out first round last year, and Thailand have had three attempts. Whitewashed by England 5-0 in 2014, lost to Northern Ireland 2015. Hungary in 2016, where they, where they played poorly, to be honest, in a match that they would have fancied to win. Oh, goodness. 25. Thailand require 121. Well, this is for a break. 105. Set it up absolutely perfectly. He was just checking there in case he'd miscounted a little bit like I did in the first leg, by the way. But now the pressure's on. John Michael. Needs to find two trebles, one's not going to be enough. May go from down the bottom, or a 25 99. sometimes could be the route. Thailand requires 16. Double eight then. And Tanawat yeah, keeps up Thailand's yeah. fine finishing. He hadn't been needed on the outer ring prior to that, Thailand but he certainly wasn't first. outer ring rusty, Three was he? 3 1. To the Thai duo. Would be a minor upset. Uh, winners of this tie will play the victors between New Zealand and Belgium. Ibex brothers again, eighth seed, Belgium. And I think that's one of the toughest of the first round draws. Because New Zealand have Indeed. got a strong team this year as well. Especially the, the up and coming Cody Harris, super player when he was down there last August. And he played really well here, didn't he? Last year, Harris, he ruffled a few feathers. And, uh, Alongside him, the more experienced Rob Zabo. Scotland, the number one seeds, with one. two of the best three players in the world to go into battle. Gary Anderson and Snakey, Peter Wright. Would you make them the favourites, Rodney, or would you favour the Netherlands? No, I've actually made them the favourites. That's the fourth scoring 140. But tell them that's it. He really is scoring exceptionally well. Now, I've, I've made these Scottish the favourites. You know, you keep getting asked, do they get on? It, it doesn't really matter. They just go up there, professional players go up there and do the best they can, and that should be enough. 50. Michael and Raymond are going to be a force, we know that. And we don't know what Dave Chisholm is going to play like. We know that Aidy has been here before. Dave represented this country for the first time for a long time, so uh, could be extra pressure. Yes, England don't play till tomorrow. Good stuff again here from Tanawat. Lovely, wow. lovely stuff. And that's five ton 40s. In six throws, I think that is yeah. as well. Scoring throws. Lovely. Terrific darts. And we know what Atapol has been like Thailand with his finishing. 64. Can he keep up the good work? Missed the big number. Well, it, it shouldn't matter. It, there should be three more clean darts for Tanawat. But he has one, given Selagoglu an outside chance, which has just got bigger. One, 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 
Yeah. He's asked the question, Rod, has he? Yes, he certainly has, but for the way Tano has been scoring, you'd think he'd be so confident hitting this double 16. Now it's the double eight, and this is a crucial time. Who scored? Oh, he's busted. What a time to get control of the game and be one leg away from a second round place. And they are a long way off. That's pressure for you. Oh, what a last start from John Michael. He has kept Greece in this tournament. And that's ironic, Rod, isn't it? You know, Tanawat, five. 140 is in six scoring visits, and then there's three clear darts at a double. 96. Well, that double three will make a huge difference to the whole way this match could pan out. Tell about busting his attempt at double eight. Too high, was in the wrong bed, double 11 just above. And then Michael, last start in hand. 60. Double three of all things could so easily have been 4-1 it's now 3-2 26 yes, it's gone to back with throw although Thailand will have the edge Sean Michael now has got a star playing the captain's role no time for scruffy darts here from him he's got to take the lead this Tanawat, I mean, he's as scored as good as probably will see anyone this evening. Eighty-three. Well, no finish left, but they ought to be first to double. 66. Especially as Atapol couldn't add to the initial treble 20 with anything significant. So, big John Michael looking to leave a single dart now, and he will do. Just needs to be a little bit careful here. A little careful, John. 20, 20. That's wow, it, nice man, and steady leads double 16. Didn't want to accidentally hit a treble or something there, Rob, did he? No, mistakes like that can cost you legs start messing around on silly doubles but uh, he's done exactly what he needed to do Greece, you require 32. Uh, Greece 32 to get back to 3 all well they could have easily been 4-1 down and chasing and they're going to get another 3 darts however you know you start splitting the 4s and then you have got problems 76. Right, double three last leg eight. for John Michael. Will it be double four in this leg to level up at three apiece? Yeah, Great good finish, good use of the line. Series. Bit of vogue dance Seven there from John Michael. Strike the pose. Game on. Three each. As we mentioned, Rod, it could have been 4 1. Now it looks a very different picture. Still need a break of throw, though, the Greek. 45. Yes, you say 4 1. You know, you can take it a little bit more easier, relax, which makes the dance flow a little bit better. But now the pressure is on. Wow, and John man. Michael looks like he's stepping up to the plate as well. I said he had to take the captain's role. 70. He's just started to push that last dart where earlier on it was nice and smooth. Well, I wouldn't like to pick the winner of this game at this point. Might just about make Thailand favourites because they've got the 
the throw. Might. 20 Probably would now. No, yeah, I agree. I mean, that was a great chance. Go on begging for Greece. A nice little straight ton. Oh, and what a setup this would be. Well, round 21. Well, that's cost them a dart at a double. May only get a dart on the bullseye now. In saying that, Rod, if you'd offered him 121 before he towed the hockey, he'd said, thanks, I won't bother throwing, wouldn't he? Take your hand At this off. stage, yeah. Yes, totally agree. 50. But when you've hit those two trebles yeah. and you've missed the big number, which, which cost you, although they weren't hammered on it, so he doesn't need... Will he go for the 25? He has. He's hit the bullseye. That's even better. Double top to take a 4-3 lead. 56. Three should require one. Arguably the worst thing that could happen, because now he's got to come back or his partner has forget that he may not be coming back yeah he will so Tanawat though has got a waste to dart getting well, down to a double which will be 24. seven Thailand, for 32 you would think miss doubles 30. for Thailand has possibly Greece cost them this game. They could have been 4-1 up. Three clear darts at a double from Tanawat to take that 4-1 lead. And John Michael just checking himself. He's not going to rush to take a 4-3 lead and a break of throw. He did this before. He did that before Greece as well. Same scenario. It was too low on tops before, but plum on, double ten, and now they've turned the tie around completely from 3-1 behind to lead 4-3, and they have the darts in this eighth leg. Yeah, it's you, John. Well, to be fair to John Michael, he really is showing his experience at the big stage at the Alexandra Palace here, isn't he? He's, he's doing things at his pace and making sure everything is above ball that he's not going out of turn or he's not throwing at the wrong double so you you've got to give him a bit of uh, a bit of kudos for that easy to get carried away in these situations absolutely you know, you're, not, you're not up there playing a singles match so if you lose you're the only one who gets hurt you're up there with your partner representing your country which is the biggest pressure that i think any individual will ever take on we see players that relish with it we see other players that just fold I can't explain why. Forty-one. But what Greece want to do now, when they get down a double, is John Michael to have those darts at the double. He's the most likely to be able to close this leg and the match out. One oh, something big required from Chano out here. We've seen it at the Worlds before, 2016. He lost in the prelim to uh, Rennie Adams. Remember him? He was. The cube that gave Michael Van Gerwen a real hurry up. So another time 40. It's their sixth. They're way ahead of that statistical category, but they're behind on legs, and that's all that matters. Sixty. Well, Greece is still on throw. He's got a switch and he's gone for the 25. So now John Greece Michael. Probably unlikely he's going to take it out. He's got to find one major trouble with these three darts. Oh. 80. Well, that's, that's brilliant. He's gone two tons and that score to set it up. However, the 36 rudders. Is not the greatest of doubles because if you split it, could be a big problems. And it's going to be down to Selakoglu here now. He's got three darts in his hand. 36. Can he steer Greece through to round two? Double nine. Oh, he's wired it. Thailand, you require Well, he didn't come inside it. But that might not matter, OK? Here goes Atapol. 16. Two darts wasted from Thailand again. Greece, you require 18. Well, I can assure you that this double nine 
is the worst double on the dartboard. You can forget the threes and the twos. This is the worst. He's got to attack it. If he's going to bust it, do it the first dart. Oh, that's a brilliant dart. Oh, well, John Michael, the Greek hero. No Greek tragedy this year for the team from Greece because they're safely through to round two and he's lapping it up. He goes safely through with his partner, Selakoglu, and they may face Belgium in round two. They've beaten Thailand by three.